Okay, so welcome back. I, I want to begin by showing you how to solve that problem on that error that some of you are getting on uh, <clears throat> on one server. So let me just start one server. Uh, so you just click on it there and then yes. So some of us are getting this error. Code execution cannot proceed because this DDL, DLL file is missing. MSV CR 110. So it says reinstalling the program may fix this. So how do you then sort out this error? So to sort it out, as uh, one of you mentioned, uh, you can download the DLL file on this link here. So just make sure that you download. Uh, you download the DDL file. Uh, so that is the the site ddl-files.com, and that is the DDL file number. So if you go there, you'll be able to download it. For me, I have already downloaded it. So I have it on my downloads. It is here. So you need to copy this file, the DDL file, copy. Then you need to paste it in your Windows file under System32. So you go to your PC, this PC, then you look at the drive that has Windows installed in it. Normally has the Windows logo, that's how you identify it. Um, then you go to Windows. And then you go to System32. This folder here, System32. Then just paste it, just right click, paste. So you need administrator permission to do this. So just click continue and it will be, it will be pasted there. Okay, so let's close that. So uh, I can stop the one. Uh, I'm not sure why I'm unable to, when I click here generally, when I click on this, I'm supposed to be able to get a menu to either stop some of the WAMP services uh, like Apache or MySQL, uh, but I'm unable to do it. I don't know why. Uh, but uh, I can also use the run command to stop the WAMP services. So I just type here services.msc. <clears throat> so I just want to stop so that we can restart them and see that the error has disappeared after pasting the .dll uh, file on system32. So let's go down to W, so WAMP Apache. So we stop that service. I'll also stop this one for MariaDB. And I stop this one for MySQL. So generally we stopped all the WAMP services there. So if I restart WAMP, okay, yes. So you can see now, WAMP runs without any error message because the DDL file uh, that was missing has been installed. So that's how you sort out that error. So please try it out and let me know whether you are able to uh, also solve that problem as soon as you solve it.